How's it going today, boys? It's me, Form Baby, making a video on how to play Drug Grit because people wanted me to. Therefore, I will give you a little bit of background. I am a Masters Drug Grit, peaking at about 30, 36, 70 on this account. And on my other account, I peaked at 3,800 this season. Where is it? There's a lot of people here. Give me a moment. Is that it? Here it is. Here this season I peaked at 3,800. We're gonna keep going. But basically today I'm gonna go over the basics on how to get good at junk crit. <laughs> so first we are going to talk about junk crit's gun. Junk crit has one of the more unique guns in Overwatch because he's the only one that can bounce items off walls. Actually, he will Sigma can, but junk crit has a little bit more versatility of it because it has infinite range and. Basically, with with Junkrat's gun, you kind of want you. It's really more about predicting enemies, more about like versus soldier. You know, soldiers. You see a person you shoot on Junkrat, they're supposed to shoot him before you even see him. So, like in this situation, like let me just show you an example. So if I'm sitting here, you know, this is like a point that I'm trying to defend. Let's just say I have, I have a trap on my foot, and I think that an enemy's gonna walk through this door like the robot. So I'm gonna start shooting through this door. Like that. Right marker, and he dies. The bot, I guess, was a little beforehand. So that's kind of the point of Junkrat's gun. You either go for a straight on attack, you know, trying to break shields, all that kind of stuff. If someone's trying to push you, and you're all up in your face. Or if you can't see someone, you want to get some like, fancy enemies on. Kind of what you can do. Junkrat's gun is also unique because you can be up here on this high ground while the enemies are on the low ground. And then you can shoot them, but they can't shoot you. I guess you can check I guess yeah, that bot. That bot's on a pillar for some reason, I don't know why he's on a pillar, but he's on a pillar. So, anyone who wants to know the Junkrat controls, here they are. First time revealed. Big thing, big thing. Here you are. Those are the settings. I have a very high sensitivity because the faster you can turn around the better if someone's trying to sneak up behind you especially with a projectile character like Junkrat here's my crosshair if you care about that it's just a crosshair now well that's basically the, the basics of Junkrat's gun it's basically 130 and combos well with the rest of his abilities and his other abilities is this one which is the concussion mine which can either be used to damage an enemy or to the back like that, or you can use the concussion mine to so back. Those are the main two purposes, and they can also be combined together so you can sit here and move you and the enemy back will kill them, but it would have been if he wasn't full health or half health. And basically, with the concussion mine, Junker has one of his more deadly combos is where you can shoot and you can throw a concussion mine and there's your insta kill right there. And in the more practical sense, you can just go like that and boom, they're dead. It's very simple to use. Also, with Junkrat's mobility with his concussion mines, is you can use them one after another. So if you s if you throw your concussion mine down and wait for the uh, eight second cooldown, which I have to wait another eight seconds because I had to eight second cooldown. If you wait until you have three until you have your extra two concussion mines available, you can do one, two, three. Do three concussion mines to jump on your enemies. Now, Junkrat's third ability besides his gun is his concussion mine. is his trap, which the trap is very useful. A lot of people underestimate what the trap can do. So, like as earlier, I was saying I was playing in this room, you know, trying to hold down this door, which is the quote unquote joke in the situation. And in this, this is our team's flank, so I have this on our flank. And basically, if you're the enemy tracer or KD, something like that, and you're coming up here, and you're trying to flank the team. You either have to step in the trap, or you have to break it. And either way, the junk gun's gonna know, because if, if a trap breaks... Here, I'll show you. Well, that's a good spot. You know, oh, wait, if it didn't die, hey, Pasa... Oh, all right. that's, that's, that's I don't know why I didn't break it. Hang on. Let me try it over this edge. Go. See, it shows that destroyed right there, and you'll see that on the doorway, and you'll know that the tracer's trying to flank, or whoever's trying to flank, someone's behind you. And 
whenever someone does step in a trap, it's very good because they, they can't move, they're stuck there, and you can call it up to your team and get a free kill. It's also good because if a tracer's sitting here, and so if this if this if this bot right here is like a tracer or like a doomfist something like that, and they're com trying to come straight at you or like a Rhine, you can just throw it right in front of you. And as soon as the doomfist punches, he'll just punch right into the trap, and he'll get stuck right in front of you. And kill him. He's and with the trap, the trap does 80 damage. So you can either do crush your mind with the trap, which does a total of 200 damage. And the trap, so the, the, the primary fire and the concussion does a total of 250, so you can one-shot reapers, maze, all that kind of good stuff. Or if you do the trap and the primary fire, that's also that's 210 right there. So that, that'll, that'll, that'll kill people even through some heals, which is very nice. And uh, next up we got Rip Tire, which is his ultimate ability, which there's different implications of Rip Tire. So with Rip Tire... To get to a better situation. So let's say that my team is trying to push with this choke right here, and the enemy is all standing like right here with their shields and you know, attacking my team, say the third team right there. I, on our team, can go around to the side right here, and let's just say this trap is the enemy die. team. I can stand right here and just press behind the corner of the set it right here, and just wait just to blow it up on their whole team. And you can sit there and try to wait and see if they use any abilities, anything like that. If there's anything, if someone notices you to the side, you can wait for them to um, you know, just get distracted or whatever. You know. The second style of tire is called the stall tire. So with the second tire called the stall tire, let's just say in the same situation, so my team is right here and they're trying to push up against this team right here. So what I can do in this situation is maybe I'm like over here behind them and I'll press I'll press rip tire and I'll run it into the wall because whenever you run into the wall it makes no noise. And therefore, while your tire is just running into the wall and you leave it there for about like five or six seconds I would say. You just leave it there, and, and they're and they're scared because rip tire is a scary old thing. It's it can it can be very devastating. And while it's just sitting there, they're trying to find the tire, but then your team's also trying to push it, so they they have to choose what they want to focus on. And most of the time, since you know your tire is just chilling over there, they're, they're gonna give up on the tire and think it's gone or something. And then you can just drive your tire right around the corner and blow them up again. So just sit here, and you know, just drive your tire into the into the wall right here for about like five seconds, and it doesn't make any noise as long as it's not moving. And you can just drive around and Now, another kind of tire. Okay. A bad job of protecting this box. Another type of tire is what I call the suicide tire. Which is basically. Basically, the, the really big concept with Junkrat's Rift Tire is the closer you can get to the enemy, the less reaction time you have to do the, the, the charge up. You know, because it has a delay, because it was like the. I forget how to do it. one second. Charge up time for the Rift Tire animation. And basically, with the Suicide Tire, let's just say, you know, same same situation, you know. This, this trap right here is the enemy team. Our team's trying to push in. But I'm just sitting here like, heck it, nothing's happening. Over there, a whole team land right inside. And, and this tire can go either really great or really terrible. It's kind of just like a heck it situation. You know? But you've tried everything else, it's not working out. What about this? And another big part of uh, is um, its mobility. It's very mobile, so if you want to, if you, you know, if it's overtime and you don't really have time to get back to the point, you can try to just use like a few special mines to get a response to first. You're trying to get to like the point when you're really trying to defend or attack. And you're, just, you're trying to get to their team. And you're all out of concussion mines, so. You have your ultimate, it's out of so it's like no point. 
trying to get the longer points since you don't have any of your abilities to destroy the Golden Trunk Rift. So what you can do is use your tire's mobility. And just, you can use this wall climb. Just we can go really far really fast. The wall climb and all that stuff. And then get him, dude. And Rift Tire is very strong against a lot of teams. And basically, that's about it for Rift Tire. Now, with Junkrat for positioning. Positioning is a very key part of Junkrat because if you're sitting here, and a very a very good thing to do is to concussion mine into their team, and then you have a concussion mine ready to go. And you can get you can just uh, set up, but you can get a free kill, and then that's kind of you kind of get stuck there. And so you kind of have to have a way to get out. So yeah, I wouldn't really recommend going into a whole team, but if you're trying to like get into like their back lines, like kill the honor or something, that's what you do. That's kind of your job as Junkrat. You either kill tanks or supports in the back. And then if the DPS gets too, too up close and personal to your team, you'll punish them. Because your main duties is drunk threat. So with your team, you either want to stay behind your shield, like if, if our Reinhardt's right here, so before the gas canister is Reinhardt. And I'm playing behind my Reinhardt shooting your team, you know, doing all the, all the damage onto their shields or tanks or etc. You can just be sitting there doing damage. Or you can go on your job as flank threat. And you know, you're being all sneaky. You know, I sit here crouching because if you crouch, there's you don't make any noise. And you crouch up behind their team, and then you just go to Ana, Mercy, whatever they have as supports. You break their supports because basically, once the team doesn't have supports, they're 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 done. There's really no way. And, uh, the uh, one other style of uh, playing Junkrat is if uh, if you're if you're if you're on defense, usually usually for just defense, or if they're trying to push you when you're attacking and you know your shields are down and everything and you don't have anything to hide behind you want to play behind this corner and then uh... you can actually this is a bad corner to demonstrate this on but let's just say you know like they're trying to push through this main choke and you're sitting here with your rhine and they're trying to push through this main little choke right here and you can just sit here and play your corner instead of trying to peek through and you can just get free damage and stuff like that and basically the, the aim of the game for Junkrat is kind of just just build up your rip tire as fast as possible. If you can spam rip tires, you will get rip tires. And obviously you get killed if you can rip tires. If you can spam rip tires enough. Like one kill every time, then I don't know if that's true. But just sitting there having your trap set up, you know, getting people to step in your trap, all that kind of stuff, really helps with the junk right. And in my next segment, I will cover tips and videos. So for this segment of the video, we're going to go over tips for specific heroes. And the first tip is with your Ana. So normally your Ana is positioned in the back, like right here. You know, if she's trying to help your team, she'll be playing the corner right about here. So if, so if our example Ana comes over here and stands like she normally does. As Junkrat, you can always help out your friendly Ana by having a friendly trap right here so she can play around it. So whenever a DPS might try to dive her, she'll, they'll d jump on the trap instead of her. Hey, I'm making a video right now, so shh. If you could, please. Thanks. So for Ash, just go to like the main choke. So against an enemy Ash, you always want to try to either get the angles on them. Like where, where they where they can't wait. Where, where'd you go? Where? Oh, okay. <laughs> like if there's an enemy ash, let's say their team pushing in right here, you want to try to get some angles on them so you can try to get some wall bangers like this on the ash. And then if you get a free shot, you get the damage like that. Oh, sorry, I haven't warmed up. There we go. See, she couldn't even shoot me, but I could shoot her. You either want to try to get some angles on her or do your flank strategy with Junkrat, which like for a map like Eichenwald, you can set up right here. Save your concussion mine till you get a third one. Come in from the back. Two tapper and then just get out. Uh, against Baptiste, uh, your your job as Junkrat is just to kill immortality. That's like your number one goal. Like if you're playing with your team, like it's so easy for you to start. Boom, gone. It's, don't shoot me, that's rude. And then you can just Oh! How'd you live? You're a pro! Oh, you have infinite of those, that's not fair. When anyone modded me? I.
my my uh. <clears throat> you forgot break, but okay. We'll, we'll go to break next. Uh, for for Bastion. Here, just 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 do the normal Bastion thing where you set up in the corner. So for Bastion, the it's the same thing with uh, Ash. How you can play corners with him. Like if I spam this back wall, I can get free damage on him. Or you can just do your normal just like that. You can kill it. Like Junkrat's the best counter for Bastion, honestly, out of all the characters. Like most people think it's Genji, but it's actually uh, Junkrat's the best. Okay. And then uh, biggest tip against Brig is uh, <coughs> just kill her forehead. Oh. Give your ultimate. If Brig ults, you just. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing, nothing Brig does do really affects you. Because you, you kind of just control Brig, because you can just break your shield in like a shot or two. Um, against D.Va? Actually, the, the, the tip with D.Va is actually a friendly tip. Mod me back so, in. If you uh if you have a if your diva's on your team, she can hold your defense matrix while you're tower and she can follow the rift tower. Oh, well she's an enemy diva, but yeah. So she can like she can like have her matrix and follow your rift tower. Here, do it again. Yeah, yeah. Just follow it. Or you can drive into an enemy team. What a pro diva. Oh. <laughs> So against the Doomfist? Oh, yeah. So just cover like this main hallway. Yeah, yeah. So if a Doomfist, if he's trying to punch you, you can just throw a trap right in front of him, and then he gets trapped. And boom, you get free kill. And this is the easiest way. Just try to play around your trap if there's a Doomfist. Throw it in front of him, or just play around your currently set trap because it's on a long cooldown. So uh, for Genji. You can always def you can always debate his deflect by shooting above him, and then you can also throw a concussion mine over his deflect. Oh. <laughs> Got him. Oh, okay, and then uh, my tip against uh, next hero Hanzo. Oh. <laughs> here, come to like, hang on. Say like you're a Hanzo playing like right right here where my spray is. Yeah, you see my spray? Okay, so, so, like, against the Hanzo, whenever you rip tire, you can have your tire and run it through a wall, and wait for the Hanzo to use, like, a spam arrows or shoot an arrow. And then, boom. You can just debate him like that. Sit there and wait for the perfect moment to strike, and he's either distracted by either one of your own teammates, or he's just, you know, distracted. <laughs> Um, for Junkrat, there's really no tip besides uh, who, who, who can play the spam battle the best. Usually whichever Junkrat lands the first shot wins. So, uh, let's, let's just have our Junkrat 1v1. Let's go, dude. Oh. Got him. Yeah, it's kind of just, it's kind of luck. But once you land your first shot, you can just use one concussion mine to go in, and then your second one for the finisher. Um, against the Lucio, really the only thing, you know, since he's wall riding, is just, just to, like, throw gush mines at him. Or you can try to skill shot him. But, yeah, just saving, just trying to double concussion mine him is probably your best bet. Because most of the time he'll be wall riding above your traps, so and you won't really have an opportunity to trap him. Oh, actually, my, um, can you actually shoot me so you can get your high noon back? Yeah, I got. So actually, my tip for uh, McCree is if you hear him high noon. Oh wait, no, not right in front of me though. If you hear him high noon, you can you can use your rift tire and you can't lock onto it. Just sit here and drag it all around. Boom. Score down the list. So my tip against May. Is uh, if a May ice cubes, oh, you can throw a trap next to her, and then as soon as she gets out, you can shoot her and knock her into your trap. Why'd you old? <laughs> throw, dude. Much better. Uh, against Mercy, 
I don't really have another person to show this off, but if a Mercy tries to go for a res, just pretend like you're going for a res. And then you can just two-shot combo her. Or at least throw a concussion mine so you boop her away from the res, but as Junkrat, it's, it's highly your responsibility to stop the res if they have a Mercy. Because Junkrat's really good at it. Finished. For Moira, if you play around your trap, sh her her beam might lock onto it instead of you, or she might fade into it like a dummy. But it's kind of just another one of those, uh, you know, you gotta get good and aim at her. There's not really much of a, not much of a trick against her. So actually, uh, here, actually for this one, I want you to play wrist like a, in a defensive position. So you you act like you're defending. Like go, go to like your like go to like where wrist is normally defend on this map, and like hold your shield there. So for this one, normally our wrist would be set up right about here, but um, with Junkrat, especially like with this map, you can throw a concussion mine here, and then you can double concussion mine jump. Right behind the shield, and you'll have a third one, so you can just sit there and shoot her a whole bunch and just kill her. Knock the whole team out of the shield. Not the, oh my gosh. I f oh yeah, because of Arissa's new health. Yeah, she has 450 health now. But now with Arissa's new shield of just 600, it's actually pretty easy for you just to melt it either way. For fair. <coughs> Kind of just a get good kind of situation. Let's see if I let's see if I can do it. Oh. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, there's not really much you can do against Farah as Junkrat besides doing the uh, concussion mine up in the air and doing the two shot combo with your uh, shot concussion. But yeah, it's a pretty skillful matchup for Junkrat. Against Reaper, you can try to bait his fate. Just shoot him once, and then you can throw like a trap, and then you can step in it like that. So against Reinhardt, like if you're on defense or attack, if he's just he's gonna be sitting there holding his shield up for his his team. So what your job is is just play corners and just shoot his shield a whole bunch. Especially now with the shield being 600 health, it's really easy for Junkrat to break it. Boom. So, against a, uh, against a Roadhog, it's very good for Junkrat whenever he's against a Roadhog, because uh, Roadhogs are basically ultra charge for Junkrat. You can just sit here and farm a whole bunch of tire will charge off of him. And also whenever you whenever you uh whenever you tire, if he hooks the tire, you can just immediately go away from him. Although you re you ready? If he hooks the tire, you can just instantly blow it up and like almost kill him and it'll be a one shot. Except he has infinite healing, so he's just not gonna die for us. He's a So with the uh, the new very recent Sigma changes, his shield is lower, but he gets more reward for using his L1. So you want to try to break his shield, but also be cautious that he might drop it and try to eat some of your grenades. Like as soon as he uses that, try to try to time your concussion mines and all that kind of stuff. Right? Try to like shoot one or two shots at his shield to try to like debate it, and then you know just break the shield. You're still alive. Got him. Totally. Totally skillful. I've got you in my sights. Um, sword is really not used. Oh, you have infinite ult, don't you? You, you stupid head. <laughs> so with soldier, what you want to do is, uh, you want to, if he's playing behind a shield, you just kind of want to boop him around like that. You know, get the angles on them. It's kind of the same thing with Ash. You just kind of want to get angles, deny high ground. Because whenever hit scan are on high ground, they have a lot of superiority over you. With Junkrat, you want to try to maintain your high ground status or deny enemies from the high ground if you're on the low ground. Uh, against Sombra, they like to leave their uh, translocators on a uh, health pack. 
So whenever you see a translocator on a health pack, you can just throw a trap and cushion mine, and then whenever they fade there, you just get a free kill. She grabbed the health pack, so it wasn't an insta kill, but usually if it's like on a 75 health health pack, they'll, they'll do an insta die. That's nice. So against the Symmetra, whenever you see her turrets, it's 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 your job to break those. Like whenever you see those going like that one, it's your job just to shoot them. Your grenades are so large, it's really hard to miss. And uh, oh. and if you see her teleporter, if you go to the uh, end that they're going to be teleporting to, yeah, teleport back. Oh, yeah. no. Uh, yeah, yeah. If they teleport through, you can just throw a trap on there. So if someone goes through, you get a free kill. Break the teleporter pad afterwards so you can get free kill and break the like with old charge and all that kind of stuff. Six HP pushed in. So similar to a lot of characters who have breakable abilities, it's your job to break the torp turret. Whenever you see it, just shoot it. It's very easy to kill this drunk rat. Not if you miss your shots like I did, but. Yeah, you just break Torb turret, and, and Torb's, Torb's pretty large, so it's kind of easy to hit shots on him. Except when he's being really stupid, because it's very hard to see what he's doing in a non-team sense situation. Well, that's a good spot. So whenever you're, uh, whenever you're fighting a Tracer, she'll be blinking around a whole lot. And what you would want to try to do is try to uh, predict her recall. And maybe like throw a trap on it. Oh. And also, whenever you're fighting Tracer, hang on, d come, come back out of Tracer again. I want to demonstrate the, the cool Junkrat thing you could do against Tracers. So a lot of Tracers, obviously, they want to get as close as possible to get all up in your face. So whenever they try to get up in your face, you can put their shoot in melee for a one-shot combo. The hunter lays a trap for his prey. So normally, like on this map, a widow would probably be situated like on this top left walkway. So yeah, you go up to the top left walkway. So against the widow, you want you want to avoid line of sight like she has right now, and you want to try to do something like you want to try to you want to try to flank her. You know, do some of that. That wasn't really a flank, but that was kind of just some fancy tricks that you can do with Junkrat, you know, shot, send the, using your two-shot combo is very good against Widow, because, you know, you one-shot her when she also one-shots you. Alright, and, uh, against the Winston, whenever he tries to dive you, you can sit here and throw a trap preemptively, and if he misses the trap, oh, you, you could have missed the trap, hang on, let's, let's reenact that, alright, so if you, if you, like, throw down a trap for the Winston dive, Oh, that was really far away. Whenever, whenever he puts on a bubble, oh, okay. You know, let's just let's just restart that. How about how about we go back to square one, where it's a more like likable dive. Yeah, yeah. All right. <coughs> we're gonna take that part. All right. So whenever Winston's trying to dive your backline like this, you can try to throw a trap where he's gonna land. And if he doesn't land in your trap, hang on, just don't. You can sit here and boop him out of his shield and get a free kill. So you basically just want to use your concussion mind to boop him away from your team so he gets up your supports because that's what he's probably going to be going after. All patched up. Against a uh, wrecking ball, what wrecking balls like to do is they like to kind of go on point and do like a whole, like they do like a grapple, or like a circle grapple around point. And uh, as Junkrat you can counter this by just throwing a trap on the ground and they'll step in. So whenever you play against Azaria, you have to be very careful with your spam because she gets a, a large amount of charge if you if you're landing your shots on her when she has her bubble up. But if you have a Mercy and she damage boosts you, you can one shot her bubbles, or you can just try to shoot over her head so she thinks she can bubble, but she actually can't because she won't get any charge. Here, you can use your bubble again. See if I shoot over her, she she thinks she's gonna get a shot and get free charge. But she won't. Oh. oh, that's not nice. And then the last thing is uh, against Zen. 
Whenever uh, a, lo a lot of people forget that whenever he ults, you can still boop him. So you can sit there and use that to boop him either away from his team or off the map. But other than that, you always want to spam the back lines as jump threat. So like uh, like on this map, like if you're attacking, last, last tip before we end it, normally the supports like to go right there. So if you're actually up here where I talked about earlier, if you shoot your uh, grenades off of this pole right here, they'll land right there in their in their back lines and get free damage.